be dirty. Spray up. That was four hours ago. I want to go to sleep. <gasps> the powdered sugar is all over the camera. I'm so annoyed. She was like, you said you didn't have friends. <laughs> Here we have the big clunkers. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Not that stranded at sea. Look at that. <laughs> And I'll be walking back and forth like I'm doing a relay race. Hey, GS. <laughs> Yo, hmm. Let me tell you something. It's been a slow few days. I have been so freaking tired, and I never thought about the fact that vacations need a vacation afterward. I mean, the day was so long because the flight was at 1.30 and we left the hotel at 9.30 to be at the airport at, our goal was 11.30. We got there at 11, which was great. Going through was very easy, seamless. So we had a lot of time to sit and wait and then boarded the flight, got on the flight and then lay over. Wow, that customs, when you get to Miami and have to do all that stuff, that took a long time. The line was mad long. That was probably an hour and a half. And then got to the gate and then boarded again and then came to Houston. I love a good straight flight. I hate the whole layover thing, but that's all that I saw. I don't know if there's a straight flight from Houston to St. Lucia. So we did that. And then I wanted the ease of not having to carry my suitcases because I had so many and they were heavy and I feel like dealing with it. And I wanted to just rest. So I used Black Lane to go and to come to luxury private car service. So we had someone pick us up and then bring us back. So that was nice. And I was glad because I was so freaking tired and got home and I mean, I wasn't in the bed until 11.30, okay? It was a long freaking day on Friday. So Saturday, <laughs> I did unpack because I had to. I just don't leave my stuff like that. I would have unpacked that night, but it was too late and I was so tired. So I unpacked Saturday, cleaned up, did a little bit of work. And then today I had therapy, which is odd because I don't do therapy on Sundays, but that's what she had and I had to reschedule. So I had therapy today, cleaned up, still doing laundry, what else? Even though I did laundry there, there was just this is stuff around here that needs to be done still, and I'm always just cleaning and maintaining, and then finished editing the vlog and posted that, and not this vlog, not the Saint Lucia vlog, a different vlog. So here we are. Needless to say, I have not done much to myself. You know, one thing I've noticed that I need to be careful of is the line, the wrinkles that happen when you sleep on your side. Got to be careful because you have the wrinkles here. So. I got a, um, an eczema breakout here, but then the lines, because I was on my side. So you want to make sure you keep this area moisturized and then don't sit on your side. <laughs> so I have to make sure I take care of that. Anyway, if you're wondering, my nose is peeling. My face is peeling. I need to, hmm, there's so much I need to do. I need to re revamp my whole self. My face is peeling. It's dry. I had a breakout while in St. Lucia. So with the medicine and then the whole revamping of the skin, I just end up shedding. I just end up shedding, okay? And that's what you see. I've been putting moisturizer on top because I wasn't doing anything to my face, but this all needs to be exfoliated off, okay? Especially the nose, as you can see, uh, the forehead just looks crazy. Not to mention my scalp is gross. This hair has been in a week and a few days. I can't believe I have my grays come. I, I dyed my hair, like it grows so fast. My scalp is flaky. I feel, I can't see it well, like, yeah. I mean, I wasn't putting much on it. I was putting a little bit of oil every few days because my scalp was feeling mad. Dirty. I want to see the back of my head because back of my hair feels dry. Anyway, needless to say, I need to just redo my whole situation because what is life? What in the whole heck is life? And then my cross earrings, Amazon, they're old. They broke on me, so I need to buy those again. So that's why I don't have an earring in the first one. But I've just been relaxing. I'm tired as hell. It's 5.58, okay? So 6 o'clock, I feel like going to sleep. And I'm going to do a good routine for myself because I need it. And then I'm going to go to bed. So, okay, one of the things I know I need to do is clean my scalp. One of the times I got my hair braided, my hair braider recommended this and I had never heard of it. And I was looking at this and I'm like, hold on a second. This is supposed to be rinsed off. But then again, it says here that you can use it to style and then you can use it in between washes, which is what I was doing and what she told me to do. So you put it on your scalp to refresh your scalp between wash days. So I was just putting it on and leaving it. This was a while ago. This is this is expired. This is old. I don't know when it expired. Oop. It might be expired. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I only have one, so I'm gonna use it. But it's a Cantu Shea Butter Apple Cider rinse, Apple Cider Vinegar Root Rinse. Okay, refresh, gentle scalp detox. Because I need to clean my scalp. I feel like my scalp is dirty. And you know I me, mean? I love washing my hair, and that's part of why I don't use my braids in long. Because one. 
I don't like braids looking old and dusty, which this is okay. It's been a week. It's okay. Two, I don't like my scalp being dirty. And right now my scalp is dirty. I had my hair in a bun and it just been looking real stupid the past few days. That's why it's hanging over here. I'm gonna fix that and go to bed. <laughs> Let's do my nighttime dental hygiene routine, which is always important. I already flossed. I floss after every meal, so I already flossed. Oh, and if you're wondering, solution was great. I would go back there again in a heartbeat. It was so much fun. So I already flossed, and if you don't know, I have a four-step routine. First is floss, then it's brush, then it's tongue scrape, and then it's mouthwash. <laughs> All right, let's take this down. And I worked out while on vacation, so you know <laughs> the scalp is even more dirty. And we were sweating a lot. Oh, it was so hot. It was so much fun. Oof, oof. Ooh, it still feels tight because it's only a week. The braids are only a week old. So they still feel like, whoa. Okay, this line isn't dirty. It's just some places. And the hair itself feels creamy. <laughs> You know, because when I was putting my body oil on, I know my hair was rubbing on it, so it had to have gotten on the hair. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, let's just part this down the middle. I love my braids, by the way. They don't feel heavy. I mean, they feel like braids are on my head, but they don't feel wicked heavy at all. And when I wet them, it just comes back to life. It doesn't look frizzy like this. So from what I recall, I'm going to just put it in between my hair, and then I left it last time. I feel like I need to wipe it, but there's are no instructions to wipe. Okay, and it, it doesn't smell, which is nice. Ooh, it's dripping. Oh, it feels nice and cold. I know she just rubbed it, I think. Right, I'm just rubbing it. The white hairs in the front make it look like my hair is dirty, but those are literally white hairs. Okay, I guess I don't need to wipe it, I mean, Ooh, yo, this is getting all down my neck. I cannot. It's very liquidy. Ooh, this cold feels so good. Because the front was feeling like it was, it wasn't feeling like it was looking flaky. Like I was going like this, and then you know how you just see flakes on your shirt? Like what, what are you doing? I don't need that. I don't need that in my life, ever. So please stop. And I don't know how often I'm supposed to do this because I was just putting oil. What kind of oil was it? I don't even know. It was just an oil that I had in my bag. I was just putting it on my scalp because it was so dry. Yo, and then my scalp was burning too, yo. Mm -hmm. I've heard of suntan for the scalp. I've never had to deal with it, but I felt the sun burn in my scalp in St. Lucia. Let me tell you something. I remember there was actually somebody on TikTok who had some kind of braids, cornrows. She had something and she took the style out and had a suntan on her scalp. And she, so you know how, the, so the parts of her hair were dark, but she, or these from what I got from the video, felt like the where the braids, where the cornrows were, because they were light, that the cornrows have done something to her hair. But I felt like it was the opposite. It was the sun that gave her a suntan on her scalp that made her feel like where the braids were, were light. So she was, if you remember, the, if you've seen the video, comment, let me know. I What I got from it is that she felt like the braider had done something wrong. But I was looking at it like, no, it just looks like you've got a tan on your scalp. And now I see that it's possible because my scalp was burning in the sun. I felt it. I think she ended up shaving her head. I don't know why she had shaved her head, but she had shaved her head. So the areas where she did not, the areas that were braided were light. So it just looked like it was an issue, but I'm thinking, you just got a tan. That's just my thought. I don't be liking the front of my hair looking crusty one bit. Ugh. I hope it doesn't look like that because I was enjoying half up, half down. So we're going to see. I mean, I just put that on my scalp. I hope it does something because, you know, usually by now the braids have been out and I'm doing my best because I like these. So I want to see if I can do two weeks, maybe three. If I do three, that'd be, that'd be crazy. That'd be a lot for me. But we'll see. If I can, it'd be so good because I love the ease of just not having to do my hair. Gosh, I just get so, I just get so tired of the same old, same old. Oh, I love the coldness. That coldness on my scalp was good. Okay, so my scalp feels good. And then I have this huge headband that I was using to tie it up. So let's tie it back up again. I did my nail, the pain in my toes is milky color. And I don't know about you, but as a Ghanaian woman, I have two toenails, the, the ring finger on both both feet that are a little bit dark. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a little bit dark, they dark. <laughs> 
So milky colors always annoy me on those toes because it don't be looking the way it need to look. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to do a French gel, but the, the white was not coming out how it needed to. I was using a white polish. And what I really needed was that slim white that is made for French tips. I didn't have that. I had a straight up white polish and it wasn't looking right. So I was just stuck with the milky color. It's not terrible. It's just on that last toe and then look at how I wanted to look. You know what I mean? The, the, the second to last toe, the pinky toe sister. Mm -hmm. That one. All right, I'm going to scrub my face in the shower. I'm gonna use this, what's it called? V viscous, viscous, I'll show it to you. I had this facial scrub something or other from a brand, right? And I was like, oh, this is good. It's not for everyday use because there's no reason to be scrubbing your face every single day and it can be used on the body. And then when I looked at it, it said that it was made of viscous fiber. So I Googled it or I YouTubed it. No, I I, what? I Amazoned it and I found the viscous whatever. So it's a hand mitt that you can use for the body. It is nice. It is going to exfoliate you well. Put your soap on here, rub, rub any area. You can put on, you can do your whole body, but I do my face lightly because this stuff really rubs. I mean, it's not rough when it's dry, but once you get it onto the skin with soap, I mean, it really works. You don't need much pressure. This is so good. I use this every now and again, not all the time. No, 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 no. So on days like this where I know I just had a shedding happen and I need to get all this dead skin off, I just, it literally feels rough. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at all of that skin. So I just need to get all of it off. I know it's all there. So I'm gonna make sure that my skin is moist with soap and then gently rub it off and then all the skin underneath it will be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I'll sometimes put this on areas of my body that I want to exfoliate. So elbows, back of the thighs, knees, feet, so forth. But you can put on your body. These are very, very cheap, Amazon. I'll link it all below. So let's shower. So I'm out of the shower. This is the Elf Reviver Lip Oil. My nose is so dry. Maybe you can see. See how shiny my forehead looks? That's because it is basically polished. My skin looks crap. I just sprayed some on the mirror. This is almost done. This Grace and Stella hydration hyaluronic acid situation. Dang, it just squirted out to my mirror. It basically polishes the skin. Look how shiny it is. There's nothing on it. My skin looks dry, which is to be expected. I just exfoliated, so that's bound to happen. So we want to put the hydration on immediately. My skin looks shiny because I used a baby oil gel in the shower after I showered, and then I put brown sugar babe oil on. I used the scent rose, so I smell really, really good. It's a soft scent. I'm just gonna go over the eyes because why not? It's a hydrating oil. I feel like I need to do my eyebrows again, yo. My microblading, I mean, it's there, but it ain't there like it could be. You feel what I'm saying? It's missing something. This is done. I got it the other way. This was good, very hydrating. Y'all be cleaning your ears? I hope so. <laughs> yo, if you watch one video on TikTok and then they start harassing you with all kind of stuff. I watched an ear wax extraction video and oh, it's so disgusting. And I know there are some people that feel like you should not clean your ears and all of this nonsense i don't believe in that just like there are some people that i feel like you shouldn't shower every day you shouldn't put on lotion i don't believe any of that crap okay i'm gonna clean my ears and i'm gonna shower every day praise the lord now i am gonna actually do eye cream this is in this free green tea caffeine eye cream what's nice about this is that it has a roller ball and it just stays cold because it's whatever that titanium whatever that product is made of which feels really good on the eye so let's roll this on very easy you just push it down a little bit get some of the product and roll away and then i want some more hydration this is a gel like formula it just melts into the skin oh, i still have that clinique one that i've talked to you about several times the one hour what's it called i, I forget the whole name all these long names get me so tongue-tied sometimes anyway it's a gel formula as well I love gel formula creams when my skin feels extremely dry because it just feels like a drink of water on the skin. But this one was within my reach, hence why I'm using it. And I like both of them a lot. And I did use a lot, I recognize that, and that was intentional. You don't need that much. It's just because I exfoliated, like I said, come on, I need a lot of product tonight. And this is gonna just sit on the skin, like a mask, really. I'm not doing my neck and chest because I already have the oil from the shower on those areas so that's not gonna work but ideally make sure you put the product on your hands neck and chest i have not done oils in a while i used to do oils all the time this is element superfood facial oil and i'm gonna use this to seal in 
all of this. Now, I'm not gonna rub it in because I don't wanna break up anything that I've already put on. I'm just patting it on just to put it in place. I want to go to bed and wake up with extremely hydrated skin. Now, I will just put this oil because this is oil and I already have oil on my body. I'll just rub it in. It doesn't hurt to have more. You know? Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, I got so chocolatey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got on one of my favorite satin <laughs> pajamas from Amazon. I laugh because I'm just reminded that when I be over here lathering my body with oils and whatnot going to bed, your satin pajamas are going to look a little crazy around the neck, just anywhere where the oil gets soaked in but that's fine i change my pajamas every night i have several of these different colors so it just is what it is i'm not gonna go to bed ashy <laughs> that ain't gonna work no ma'am mm -hmm. hell no okay fragrance of the night is gonna be finery sweet on the outside so good and i've been doing a better job about not spraying myself right here okay alcohol in the fragrance don't want that not to mention i have eczema but like what so i go on the back of the neck okay of course, I, and then I learned to do right between the breasts. When you sweat, it activates the scent of the fragrance too. Like, why not? Whatever. <laughs> and I do sweat at night a little bit. It's annoying. Not a lot, but like, you know, enough. And you know, your skin sheds. Girl, change your pajamas. I used to be the, oh, I'll wear this a few times and then wash. No. The more you know, it makes you so sick. So now I'm like, mm, new pajamas every night because one, I have enough, praise God. Two, just the knowing about the sweat and the dead skin, not interested. Not interested not interested so no ma'am okay and then just go for, i'm gonna go far away and spray because i don't want any oil stains from the fragrance but i do want to smell good hello mm, 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 mm. yes honey spray up outside on a school night i am so sick of this so i was filming today and i did this supposed to be black smoky eye it looks more gray or i don't even know what it looks like and then i text marie i'm like dinner and she literally she literally was like what time i'm like what i did not expect her to actually be free <laughs> so here we are now meeting up but i won't even lie to you when i messaged her you know how you message something early in the day and, and at the time you messaged that you had energy that was four hours ago. I want to go to sleep. It's 8.08. .08. I want to be in the bed. What is this? This is not even normal at all. So, oh my God, I've been yawning so much. Driving here, I've been yawning even worse. I am so freaking sleepy. I want her to be like, oh, sorry, I can't do it. Don't you hate that? I, I mean, I haven't seen her in a while. I want to see her, but yo, I'm mad Ty. Is that her? No. Okay, so I'm going to go get out. And I wasn't even, I didn't even think about what to wear. Again, it was just a throwaway comment like dinner. So I threw this slip dress on from Target because I was literally going to just wear this in the house to film. And then I ordered some stuff from Target that came in that I was steaming that I was going to actually do try and haul for. But it got late and later in the day, I'm tired. I don't want to do anything. My energy is low. So I didn't get to do that. And I was just wearing this around the house because you know me, I got rid of all of my raggedy stuff right if i'm gonna be at home i'm gonna still look nice now i know this is next level because it's satin i get it right i don't always wear satin at home but i'm just saying then i was like you know i'll just wear this it's a monday night i don't need to go put on no sparkly dress it ain't that crucial i mean i do have on some cute sandals i got these heeled sandals from zara 
years ago, maybe two, three years ago. They're not too high, they're cute. And then I have my coach jean bag and I brought my fan. We wanna sit outside, I don't know if I need the fan. My bag is already full, I'm so annoyed. I don't even think I need the fan, I don't know what I need. Let me go sit outside, I should go sit outside and then wait for her, let me go sit in. And then I, my face is breaking out, I'm so annoyed. My neck is itchy, listen, I need to be in the bed. I'm itching like I have fleas. Look at this cute bag. Oh, I love this coach bag. I'm gonna link this below in case you want. Look at me. I tied it like a shoestring. I know that's a better way to do it, but I didn't do it that way. I did it in my own way. I did it my way. <laughs> See, Houston's crazy because there's a breeze out here. It's humid though. It's the air feels so thick, but it's nighttime. It's just crazy. But if we sit inside, it'll be way too cold because the AC and both of us don't like being cold. So sitting outside at 8 p.m. is right up our alley. <laughs> we don't like all that. This place is cute. You know, I usually get the same old, same old. Should I get something different? Oh my God. If you having sugar in it, that's the thing. Ooh, elderflower. This is man talking about. Uh oh, here he comes. How you doing, man? Hi, I great you. I'm doing well. Sorry, I didn't see you out of here. Oh, that's okay. Um, no one informed me, but that's on oh, me. I apologize. She it was didn't a, say anything? She said something to me in passing, and I didn't know. I just didn't. I don't know. It didn't, okay. it didn't land. That's like I okay. heard it, but it didn't land. All right. Uh, my name is Evan, though. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I'm waiting on a friend, but I'll take two waters while I wait. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Right away. Thanks. Not it didn't land. Not she said something in passing, and he didn't hear it. Evan, you know here to work. What are you here to do today, Evan? Huh? <laughs> he like, I be wanting to do something cute, but the sugar, the sugar, the sugar. We had the wine flights last time, and I don't like them. Gin, Saint Germain, bubbles. Ooh, I should try that. Elder, elderflower, seventy-five. Ooh, what is Saint Germain? Hello, madame. <laughs> oh my god, you made so it. Nice. You asked the call of Fuchsia. <laughs> I was literally just telling the vlog that when you answered back and was like, what time? I was like, wait, is she serious? Yeah. Because I literally was asking, oh, I saw her vlogging camera. Did she just vlog everything? I said, whatever the vibe is. Like, what's your business? No, I didn't ask you questions. She didn't ask me a word. Yeah, she's like, oh, it's my business. What's her vlogging camera? I said, all of my stuff. Imagine. And I love when you text me, like, now tomorrow or the, like last minute that works for me because then i can scramble and figure it out okay so you prefer that planning ahead is harder <laughs> i see because when i sent it i swear i was like she's not gonna be able to so when i sent it i was doing my makeup and i was Anytime, like time oh, really that ahead or in the moment i don't it don't matter so when you were like what time i was like what time what do you mean what time don't you normally like because you know we have so much going on so I was like, there's no way she's going to be available. <laughs> Listen, I told you guys that I was going to try instead of assuming. Yeah. And then today I tried and yeah. I, I won't lie to you, I'm shocked. I was like, oh, she's like serious. Okay. Oh, I like your hair. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen you since. Oh my God. Since so, the, the pool. Yes. I was telling my babysitter today, I'm going to go eat with my friend. And she was like, you said you didn't have friends. <laughs> Except the one girl, I said, yeah. That's the one? With the one girl. <laughs> Yo, not you don't have friends. So what are you talking about? The one girl. The hell? <laughs> Who else is it gonna be? Yo, good morning. <laughs> Yo, Marie and I had, oh, what is this? Is this, I don't know what this is. Marie and I had so much fun yesterday. I haven't seen her in, I don't even know. I haven't seen her in a while. And whenever we meet, there are a million topics to talk about. Comment below, let me know if you ever have that. Do you have friend, a friend of friends where whenever you meet, you're going to talk for hours because you have so much to catch up on? That is literally what happened yesterday. We didn't leave there until, what, 11 something because <laughs> they closed. 
the restaurant closed and then we went and sat in the front because we just had more to talk about and just, you know, we're just vibing out like what the hell, you know, we just needed to just chill out for a second. And then I got home, showered, washed my teeth, showered and went to bed. It was close to midnight. And then I got up at seven something. Thankfully, my body wakes up around seven each day. If I don't set my alarm, it wakes up around seven each day. I'm laying my edges. I have a busy day today. I have a meeting actually in 18 minutes. And then I, let's see if I can get content done. I may, may not. I'm going to get dressed and I'm doing makeup during the meeting because I need to based on time. And then I have a, an appointment today at 11, but it's far. It's far. So I'm going to get on the road like maybe 10, 15. And I'm going to lunch and there's always work to be done. You feel me? Just like stuff. So I have, a, I have to start my day early today. I didn't get to work out yesterday. I did a 45 minute step routine. So at least there was that. I didn't do any weights. My chest still hurts from the, yep. my chest still hurts from the workout two days before. But today I'm not going to be in the workout per se. Once the morning is over, I don't be... I don't be in the mood for workout. But then again, I, I also forgot that I have a stepper. I just, I don't be seeing it. It's pushed away and I just don't be thinking about it. So I forgot I'd be having it. So I gotta remind myself that, that no matter what, I should go on the stepper just to get my cardio. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, my, what I'm saying is that I really should do that later on today because I'm not gonna be able to do any, any serious workout. Okay, I'm putting on this fan right here to get my got to be glue to dry a little bit faster. I can move the hell on. And then I'm using the Fenty Edge brush, which I think is really cute. I lay down my edges. I tried the Fenty Edge control and it didn't hold my edges. It just didn't. So I actually had it. I'm going to find someone to give it to who doesn't mind that I've used it. It's just a no. And I need to take this braid. I need to wash my scalp. My braids look cute. I love them. Yes. I need to wash my scalp and I'm not washing braided hair. What? And you got to make sure it dries well. I got time. I got time. I got time. And it's going on three weeks. This Thursday will be three weeks. And today's Tuesday. So it needs to come out anyway. <laughs> Mary's like, I cannot believe you're going to take this out. And I'm like, I know. If I didn't have Essence to go to, maybe I would have kept it in front. Yo, I have not kept my hair in a month since I was a teenager. But I'm not looking crazy for Essence. We'll see. I got to figure that out too. Oh my gosh. I'm sleepy, by the way. I put electrolytes in this bottle of water. I got to drink some water. I got to I gotta hydrate myself. I had two, two, uh, they call it something else. No, I think I had French 75. Yeah, whatever. I had two French 75s yesterday, so. Hello? <laughs> Hi. This is drying fast. Oh my God. Yo, got to be dries fast when you put the fan on it. When I wash my face, I wash into my hairline, by the way. Not enough people talk about how they maintain their edges with braids. That's what I do. Because otherwise, this product gets cakey, it's gross. And then there's makeup on the hairline. It's just too much. You feel me? That's what I be doing. What you be doing? Comment and let me know. I just washed my edge brush. You feel me? I always put a garbage on the counter next to me so I can dump in all of my paper towels because I'm constantly cleaning my hands, cleaning brushes. I got my Cinema Secrets brush cleaning. You know, I stay using this and I keep a cup. I pour some of this into here and clean my brushes so that I don't have to worry about them when the when the makeup session is over. So here it is. And I put it right here. I clean the small brushes as I go along. Small meaning like this. And then at the end, because it's based on the order in which I use the brushes, the bigger ones usually come toward the end. And then at the end is when I clean the big fluffy ones. And of course I use paper towels that I rip or cut. I cut these up actually. So that's why I need the garbage to constantly be throwing things away. Sometimes it got to be, be leaving a little bit of white stuff, so I just do that. And then I still am using my Topic Edge Filler. What Topic fill me in? Because you know my hairline is thin and it just be looking bald. And I gotta cover up my white hairs because they peeking through. So I just still do it. Still do this and then blend it with my finger so that there's no harsh line. So yeah, so that my edges can look a little full, hello. and. Also, why it's important that I wash off my edges whenever I wash my face at night, cause I have makeup on the edges, I have got to be glue, and I have the hairline filler on it, you feel me? So yeah, if you have braids and you have white hairs, don't fret, get this. I'm gonna link everything below and you can fill in your edges every day and go sit down. <laughs> and it looks really good, you know? I could do more, but I don't wanna look crazy. I want my edges to look just naturally, 
not bald. <laughs> not questionable, you feel me? This is crazy because I didn't get up early because I was freaking tired <laughs> yesterday going to bed so late that I basically need to get do the makeup and do the meeting and I have my computer and my iPad here because I need to write something down but I need to do both because I need to leave here by 10 15 the latest I'll link my everyday makeup stuff down below dress I finished my makeup I put a gloss on because I don't do gloss often and I really should right <laughs> and I gotta wet my hair a little bit to get the curls activated this is the Janine Naylor dress from Target and I got an 8 I originally got a 10 because I thought I wore a size 10 then I went and got an 8 and this fit me well and now it's loose and I haven't even tied it I could go down to a 6 can you imagine I'm so thrilled praise God I can go down to a 6 but obviously this whole joint is sold out maybe it'll be in stock i'm gonna link it below in case you want it love that it has the pockets and i'm gonna keep the slit although you gotta be careful because the slit is pretty <laughs> hyped up you dig but i want it to just flow a little easier we'll see but i even i actually like it just with one tie but it's gonna keep on loosening so clearly i need to do this and Y'all might not like that, but I like for my belts to just, oops, let me fix this, to just look like that. I don't be liking the bow that look like I'm going to first grade. One, because it don't be looking right. It don't be, I don't be getting it perfectly. And two, I'm grown. So, but I was somewhere. Where was I? Oh, how did I do it? Now I'm confused. Here, I didn't like this. I was somewhere and I had my, my bow or my tie, the way I like to do it. And someone fixed it for me. And I was like... What are you doing? Are you okay? Don't just go fixing somebody's damn tie. If that's not how she, if that's not how she did it, it ain't how she wanted it. You feel me? This is what the hell I want to do. This is how I want to have it. Okay, first look. All right. So, ooh, let's get my platforms on. I'm gonna do my shoes before my oil because otherwise it'll be too greasy. So I'm gonna do these cream shoes. Yo, she's gonna be like, where are you going? But you know what? And these are clean. And by the way, I spray my shoes with sanitizer Lysol sanitizer when I come home because if you really think about it taking off your shoes when you come in the house is one thing but then when you're getting dressed to go somewhere you're putting them shoes back on and walking around the house so are you really protecting your floors from germs no <laughs> so go ahead and spray Lysol baby all right, the tie goes in the back, and my toes are a nice cream color. It's just so cute. Oh my god, it feels so sexy. Yeah, she don't feel where you going, but yeah, you dress for yourself though. You know, you don't dress for people. You dress for you. Hi, hello. Okay, here we have the big clunkers. Oh, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna close this because what the hell. If I leave it open, it just looks too much like, girl, where the hell are you going? Yo, these platforms are so funny. They're huge. <laughs> and she gonna be in her scrubs because she's working. She gonna be like, <laughs> look at what I got on, look at what you got on. You feel me? Okay, let's take this hair down. I just wet my curls. It's dripping a little bit, but it's all good. It's the name of the game. Body oil. I want to finish this unicorn essence from Brown Sugar Babe. Not only does it smell good, let's get through one. So, I mean, I've gotten through a few over the, what, year or so, but let's get through this one so I can break open another one. I have so many and I love all of them. Like, excuse me. But yeah, we're going to get that shine. We're going to get that scent. So I showered last night, right? And I used to feel like, oh, if I shower at night, I'm good for the day. Now, this is not Bible. This is just what I do because the more I see stuff online, the more you're like, what the hell? 
So at night we lose, well, I mean all day, but just think about nighttime. You shed dead, dead skin cells and you sweat, even if you don't realize it. I believe, I believe it's everybody. I, I feel like I've heard a, a dermatologist say this. And what I'm saying is that then you wake up and go through your day. I just think about it as like, ew, how am I gonna put on the same pajamas from last night when I shed dead skin cells, skin cells in it? I'm gonna be thinking, well, oh, these are not dirty. I already, I showered last night, so this is clean. Not really, because we don't see it per se, but there's some dead skin cells on them pajamas, honey. So I've been, what I'm trying to say is I've been wearing new pajamas every single night, even if I shower, because why not? And then for fragrance, I'm gonna do this Kaoli situation that they actually advised in their PR box was to mix vanilla rock candy, vanilla candy rock sugar, excuse me, and then vanilla 28. So let's do that. I've done it a few times, as you can see. Love this scent. You can do the skin, because that's important. It's always important. Oh, let me ask for my glasses. Hi. We're gonna do the legs, because that's important. That's important. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get the back of the neck, not so much the front, you feel me? When you give a hug, their face goes here, all right? And let's do the middle of the chest. Not so much the clothing, because this is a heavy jean situation, so no need. Let's get the skin, okay? All the areas have both fragrances on them. And then we're gonna do these good old Amazon sunnies. Not me walking back and forth like I'm doing a relay race. This is annoying. <laughs> Ooh, hi, how are you? You know what I do when I'm feeling myself. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? <laughs> That's how you gotta do it. I'm, oh, I gotta go, what? Uh-uh, I gotta go. <laughs> okay, we're doing the Louis. I'm so annoyed, I gotta go. I love this song. Listen, I just love the Lord and I can never forget what he has done, what he is continuing to do for the kid. <sighs> so that song just blesses my heart. I'm on my way now to have lunch with Madison. I didn't even introduce you to her last time we had lunch. I didn't, yeah, anyway, but we're on our way. I'll introduce you to her. She's a physician's assistant. She's really great. And she actually has her own, how do you say it? I don't know how to say it correctly. I'll let her in explain all of that if she's interested in doing that. And you could book her in Houston if you want to do that. You know, any, any kind of aesthetics that she offers. I, I don't know the whole list of things. But we're on our way to have lunch at Flower Child, honey. Child. It's supposed to be a healthy place, so we're going to have that today. And yeah, this hasn't messed up my makeup. No, it hasn't. Because I'm not sweating, so it's not going to dig in. That's a good thing. It's The sunglasses mess up your makeup when you're sweating because it happens when you're sweating. <laughs> you ain't sweating. For me. It don't be digging in. Granted, I do have on Fenty Pro Filter, not Soft Lip Pro Filter, the matte one. And that one is tried and true. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, okay, cute. Healthy food for a happy world, okay. Ooh, hot. Ooh. Here we are. 
at Lagoon Fest. This is the side where guests can come and then they have a side over there where residents go. And I love it because the sand is white. It's a man-made beach. The sand is white and the water is blue. This sand inside here, no wonder why they were sweeping earlier. Yep, I can feel it. So yes, here we are. This is an, I can't even hear me. But this swimsuit is from Amazon. Okay, now my hair is on my head. Wow, wow, wow. Hey. Ah, you got to be on the vlog, what do you mean? Ah? Hey, we are doing that. IG stories. Hello? Hey, wow, wow. Yo, can you imagine? Uh, you ready to on this yep. One? Oh wait, can you hold it? Oh, well. How do you get on safely? Oh my god. You sure it's the first time to go? That's it. Why? Why ain't it working? Can we try the other one? This is a yes, mess. Sir, we can try the other one. So sorry. What a mess. Oh god. Not the other one not working. Here we are. Oh god, it's hot. It's not working. Are you kidding? No, it stopped working. <laughs> Ours was working. Ours was working and it stopped. What? It stopped working. Yeah. We are. It's not working. Not that stranded at sea. Oh, wow. Well, at least we tried. Wow, girl, I am so tired. That was so much fun. Lagoon Fest is nice. I don't know why they call it Lagoon Fest. Because ain't no festival. I'm looking because I see some dirt or something. <laughs> this camera has been through a lot. Ain't no festival going on. Oh my gosh, I have an orange, but you can't. Oh, that's how tired I am. I forgot I even had this on. Yes, this is an orange, but this is tan. <sighs> I'm so stuffed. My body like is this oh my god i had no idea i think this is lint from my what you call it i didn't wash it before wearing it and then i i have scratch marks maybe because my nails are so sharp and i was scratching my neck i feel like it's a mix of lint from this top and sand i just need to shower so badly like what is happening in the world but yeah we had so much fun it was nice we went early if you're gonna go to lagoon fest if you're in lamarck texas city galveston whatever Oh yeah, I have seen all of my ears, yo. Well, how did this seam even get? I cannot, my hair needs to come out. My hair is so dirty. Oh wow, okay, we're going a lot of places. It's open 10 to eight and we went around one, 1231 and left at six. Now, of course you can go in the evening. They're gonna have an army concert happening soon. We're gonna go to that more in the evening vibe. It's hot as heck. You don't have much coverage. So you're just burning the whole time. And matter of fact, let me see if I have tan lines which I know I have I mean how could I not you know me I know that I have it so let's unveil them together okay you can't see it that much maybe I see in my back okay you can see it on my back that one line going down yeah you can I mean there's an indent on my back as well but 
Definitely a tan line. It was steamy out there, okay? Steve to the me. Steve and me. All right? All of it. So yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. The Cabana is 300. The chairs are free. And it's first come, first serve. And girl, the Cabanas were reserved all day. And the six hours that we were there, there were Cabanas that did not get full. But they were reserved. So what I mean is the people didn't show up. And it's like, yo, were y'all going to come in the evening or what? So it was just unfortunate. We didn't book a Cabana early enough. We should have, obviously. But we, we made it work. We found... We found places to sit, so that's a nice thing. We found somewhere to sit. This bikini I enjoy because it's through and through the same orange material. What I don't like is when the inside is white and then in the butt, if your underwear rolls up or something, you can see the white underneath. It just makes it look cheap to me. Whereas this is just orange through and through, which is great. And I'm wearing a medium. I'll link it below in case you're interested in this. It's, it's a cool, easy bikini. I need to get in a few other colors. It's just easy and I just grabbed it. I got this last minute and I actually like it. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing, you know? <sighs> okay, let's shower, it's too much.